Today we're on our way to meet a woman that created a unique way to spread inspiration and hope. While on Cape Cod, Massachusetts, we came across some rocks painted with uplifting messages, so we decided to find out more. We reached out to her to see if she would meet with us and tell us her story. She agreed, and as it turns out, she is all about making connections. Megan created the Kindness Rocks Project. We spoke with her and learned the inspiration behind her project and the decisions leading up to that change in her life. I just knew that I was missing something. This is what I had worked for for my entire life to be successful and to have this business. And yeah, have money. and to have money. <laughs> and then, yeah, I had that and it didn't bring happiness. So I thought, okay, I have to change my life. So I sold my business. Megan decided to depart from a successful career to follow a different path. I had to uncover what was my intention, what was my future. So in doing that, that's when I started walking the beach. That journey has perhaps less materialistic rewards, but one that fulfills an important need within. So the messages that I started writing originally are messages that I need or that I'm working on personally. Even from those first five rocks that I dropped, I had no idea if anybody was ever gonna find it or if the tide would come up and wash it out to sea. And so I think that's what the project is about, though. I think I'm supposed to share my message because there's so many people that feel the same way. Her search for a more meaningful life has led to her creating connections with others. So the, the average person that would find one, um, you know, they pick it up and they think like, oh, wow, it's a treasure or something. That, for, and then they think this is for me because it's right here and it's dropped. And then the beauty happens is when they realize that there's another person on the side of that rock that dropped it for them and they understand them because that meaning, that message, they understood, they put it on a rock and dropped it and then, oh my gosh, it has meaning for me. So, so it's more not the rock and the message, but it's the connection with somebody else that they understand me and I'm not alone. While pursuing her path to a more conscious experience, she made those connections that are far-reaching and of powerful good intention. What is hope for you? Hope is everything. Hope is um, the opposite of fear. Her need to connect with people led us to meeting some extraordinary people. Such encounters often set in motion life-changing experiences. I think I find a lot of joy and happiness out of learning about other people. 